who's starting these verbal altercations. He will just disrespect me, and then I will go back at him. She verbally abuses us. You're raising children who are going to have to recover from their childhood. You're suing because you said she used $1,500 to get breast augmentation. I get in touch with her family. They're like, she's probably in surgery right now. Hmm. Surgery for what? Well, sir, are, are you or are you not using the product that she purchased? I actually just married an empty alcoholic. And you rushed in it because you were looking for a Band-Aid. Here is today's case. This couple hopes to get married, but are dealing with an array of issues. One party feels it's okay to use dating sites to find friends, and when confronted, she lashes out in anger. Can this relationship be saved? That's today's case on Divorce Court. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Faith Jenkins presiding. Your Honor, as you know, we have a virtual audience and it's filled with your super fans. Today's super fan of the day is Aureen from Prairie View, Texas. Aureen, welcome to Divorce Court. We're so happy to have you with us. Your Honor, this is the case of Tucker versus Harris. Thank you, Juan. Portress Tucker. Yes, Your Honor. You have brought Ms. Chelsea Harris. Yes, Your Honor. To divorce court today. I understand the two of you have been in a relationship for the last four years. Yes, Your Honor. You're making a decision on whether to stay together or go your separate ways. You say that there's no trust in the relationship and explosive anger yes, is Honor. killing the yes, relationship. Honor. I'll start with you, Ms. Tucker. Why don't you give me some background? Tell me how the two of you met and what's going on. It's the controlling. Mm -hmm. It's the controlling, the anger, and the trust. Mm -hmm. Like, we've been together for, we've been knowing each other for seven years, mm -hmm. but we've been together for four. Mm -hmm. But within that time frame, we, were, we both were seeing other people. Um, she had her relationship and I had mine. And then right after, we ended up splitting up. Once, you know, our relationship split, it got to the point where we started seeing each other a lot more. Immediately after the relationships ended, we ended up together. But you say that now it's been four years and there is no trust, there's a lot of anger, and you're unhappy. Yes, it's a lot of... The anger comes from her emotions. What, what do you say is happening, ma'am? She's a liar, she's a cheater. I can't trust her. And she dresses provocative, she thinks it's okay. She comes to my family gathering dressed in a see-through dress and thought it was okay. Mm -hmm. I tell her to go change or ask her to go change. We get into an argument for the rest of the day. What is it, the it short was, shorts? Yes, it was like that. Well, I have to tell you. To I, a family I, I, gathering. I've seen worse. She's just controlling, okay? Okay, so let, let, let's take it from the beginning. <laughs> you said that things were great, things were great until this past year when the pandemic hit. But the big trust issue started very early on. What happened? One day, I come home from work, and it's, like, eerie. Like, it's real, real quiet. And normally, like, she's sitting on a couch or she's sitting in a room or somewhere where I can see her. But this particular moment, um, I came in and I looked around. I went and checked all the rooms to see if anybody was there. And I walk in my room. You're sitting on the bed. She's sitting on the bed? Yeah, she's sitting on the bed. And, but... The shower's running. Okay, so I'm like, okay, well, why is the shower running? You make up every type of excuse as to, you know, try to keep me from going to the shower. I go into the, I go into the bathroom, and there's a girl in my shower. I've never met her. I've never seen her. I've never been around her. She's not a family member. So, yes, Your Honor, I drug her out the shower, okay? Hmm. I drug her all the way out the shower hmm. and out of my house. Well, who was the girl in the shower? She was a friend that I've been knowing forever. She never met her because she... she what she was she doing in your shower? I wasn't sure of her circumstances. She just told me that she needed to take a shower. She said she's been calling people and she needed to take a shower. So, so I told so her she, she could come over and take a shower. Miss, Miss Harris, you had a friend who showed up at your home who said, I need to take a shower. She actually called and I told her she can come take a shower. Okay. But I was already home. And she, she didn't say why she needed to take it at, at your home? She said she's been calling people and they, everybody said no or she couldn't come over or they wasn't home. So I told her she can come over and take a shower. I didn't think it was a big deal. Does she have a place to live? Yeah, she has a place to live. I, I didn't want to ask her her circumstances. I mean, she was a friend. She asked because she took a shower. So I just, you know, she was okay. It, it, is, it is a little strange if someone Thanks. has a home of their own and they call you to I mean, leave. maybe her water was May, off. Ma well, I'm not well, sure. Miss, Miss, Miss Harris, she didn't say that, though. I ask this because if someone has a home and you know they have a home, 
right? And they are calling you to leave their home and asking to take a shower at yours. It would be reasonable to insert in the conversation why they need to leave their home to come to your home to take a shower. She would either offer that information or you would ask that information if that's what you say occurred. I didn't feel it was needed okay. because I'm, I'm, I mean, she was my friend, so okay. Okay. I felt like she needed to take a shower. You were just, uh, you were just, just operating out of the kindness of your own heart. I was just day. being a good friend. Okay, I understand. So that happens. You don't believe that story, I'm assuming. No, of course not. Like, I mean, it's a, okay. The first when thing you were, that you when you were is... escorting, we're gonna use this phrase. When you were escorting this young lady out of your home, did she say anything to you? No, she just looked at me like I was cr like, who are you? You know, like, I mean, this is my house. Like, you know, so when I dragged her on... She was uh, the so she didn't say anything? No, she just was, you know, pretty much trying to, f uh, trying to fight me back. Like, what? it was she never said anything back. Okay, where were her clothes? Her clothes, everything. I mean, like, some of her items were, like, like kind of scattered around the side of my bed. Mm -hmm. And then, like, I guess her... No, they like, were not, Your Honor. That is not her true. Un, like, her, undergarment, her undergarment was, like, right in the front of my shower. Like... Okay, all right. So this was early shower. on. You don't believe her when you say it was, it was just a friend. I, I'm gonna tell you something. No. The circumstantial evidence alone makes this highly questionable. But nevertheless, the two of you make up okay. and you decide to continue to make a go at it. But then I come around and I see her on the couch with a girl laid up cuddling. Okay. But that was just her friend, she said. Okay, so, so you both have friends? She's always on dating sites. What are you doing on the dating site? Looking for friends. There are a lot of places you can meet friends. You can go to church, go to the park. You don't go to dating sites to just meet friends. Yeah, this friend, she was going through her, she was going through a rough breakup, mm -hmm. you know? But they were so, cuddling on the couch. So you decided to console her? I consoled her. Where was she? she I, I believe she was at work. Okay, or so you thought until so she I came thought. home. But, you know, like, um, I mean, I didn't feel like it was no problem because, like, during the time when she, the reason why it was so messed up was because of the fact that when she caught me, well, it wasn't even really caught, caught her, Your Honor. But caught her. No, I didn't. She didn't catch me doing nothing. Well, when the when she came in, we were in a kind of in the process of hugging. So she off top thought that I was cheating with this person when I wasn't. I just want to be clear where the trust issues have come from. Now I have clarity. You have a friend that you decided to offer your shower to, and you have a friend who you're consoling during a difficult time. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So now that we've gotten the fact that the both of you have such big, incredible, amazing hearts, we can go on now to the rest of, of, of the issues in the case. You navigate, you decide to go forward, and you're having some issues with control now. Yes, yeah, she's always on dating sites. Like, always. So, like, like, say, for instance, one particular time, like, we're laying in the bed, and she's, like, scrolling, like... POF, the tag, the, t the tender, the, you know, all She's the on type all of dating... No, you're and I'm not yes, you're all, all of them, but it's, I don't it's, use it's them a constant, in that context. It's a constant struggle. It's a constant struggle. Like, I mean, she says that she just tries to find friends. What, what are you, do, what are you doing what on I the dating... That's what I look for, friends. Ma'am, let me ask my question. What are you doing on the dating site? Looking for friends. Just friends, somebody to talk to. No, but nothing serious. I'm friends that you can invite over to use your shower? Those no, kinds of No, I didn't meet her online. Friends. I didn't meet that friend online. Okay, we gotta, we gotta stop this. Because there are a lot of places you can meet friends. You can exactly. go to the park. You can go to the movies. Work. You can go to church. You can go to the library. Those are places you go when you want to meet friends. You don't go to dating sites to just meet friends. So, why are you out there still looking? I'm not looking. I'm just on there, like I said, looking for friends. I even tell her when I'm on the dating sites. It's not even a secret. I don't keep. And she don't think that's disrespectful. And she disrespectful, throws my phone. Your Honor. And that is so disrespectful her. to come and tell me that you're talking to other women when we're I'm in honest. a relationship. So you're not on the same page, but. I have to say, that's problematic because 
if, if she were on dating sites, would it be a problem for you? If she Not were she on dating me. sites talking to women? Not if she told me. Okay, so, so you mean to tell me if she told you that she's on these dating sites, you would have no issue whatsoever? If she told me she's looking for friends. You keep qualifying every question I'm asking. So why don't you just be honest and say, of course, it would be a problem? It wouldn't be a problem. Because she is on dating sites as Your well. Honor, yes, it would be. It would be a problem. She just doesn't use them as often as I do. What are you happy about in this relationship? I mean, I love the fact that she, she's real compassionate when it comes to my son. Ms. Harris, the same question. You should not have to struggle when I ask you the question, what is it that you're really happy about? If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll free 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Miss the show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. What else is going on? Why do you say there's so much control and so much anger in their relationship? The pandemic. Like, we don't have enough time to be by ourselves. You know, don't like, you have all the time in the world now to, to be... Oh, you said be by, by yourself, like, separate, separate apart from each other. Okay. Yeah, I mean, with the pandemic going on, it's like we... You know, we don't ever have anything to talk about. I think we were able to really catch on, on each other's habits and we didn't like a lot of them. You might be on to something mm -hmm. right there. Right. And what else do you have to say? If I go to work and she's home, I feel like she should clean the house at least or the house should be at least decent when I get home. Okay. Well, Your Honor... That's, that's so not the case. Like, like I said, during the pandemic, I was homeschooling. I was homeschooling, also doing grocery shopping, also working. You know, I have, I have a lot of things to do as a mother. And mm -hmm. I feel like so, certain incidents, like, yeah, true enough, I may leave a dish in the sink. Or, like, my son, he's autistic. He plays around, he runs around, he throws stuff around. So, like, I feel like, okay, if there's an issue with the household, Come to me and talk to me about it. Not run and rave and yell at me as if, like, I'm doing something wrong or as if I'm not doing my job. What is happening... No. You know, you say you have a, a big issue now with the way she is conducting herself and dressing and going out in public. Tell me about that. Yes, it's like she, she wants to dress like she's going to the club all the time. Give me an example of what you're talking about. Like, for example, we went to dinner at a restaurant, mm -hmm. and she had on a, some shorts that you couldn't... They didn't even come past her thigh. Mm -hmm. And she thought that was okay. It's very re revealing. Now, wh what, what is the occasion for this attire? I was going out, and it was a party. It was a lingerie party. So it was a lingerie party. So I kind of, you know... And I wasn't there. Do something. So. I mean... Okay, so, so that's become an issue. I don't think it's okay to go to a lingerie party, like, when it's going to be guys, girls there, and, I mean... But what? But th there's this explosive anger that you say is, is taking place as a result of a lot of the disagreements that the two of you are having. It's mostly the, the social media. Like, every time I'm on social media, I end up getting my phone broken. I end up buying new phones. And the crazy part is I end up buying up both, both new phones. Because who's breaking the because phone? Because she breaks my phone. How many times has she broken your phone? Three. Three times? Yes. Why are you breaking phones? What does that, what does that solve? Because, Your Honor, I feel like if we're, having a, if we're having an intimate moment, I feel like you shouldn't be texting or you shouldn't be on dating sites or any of that type of stuff while I'm entertaining you. But, but you, okay you do know that, that breaking the phone doesn't cause those sites to not exist, right? Like, they, they, they're still there out on the Internet. Yeah, but, I mean, what, what else can you do if you ask a person to... Oh, there are a lot of other things you could actually do before you get to breaking somebody else's phone three times. Why do you say that she... I mean, the two of you are, are living together. There's been a lot of time together. You, why do you say she's like a drill sergeant? Now, do you yes, think that about her? Like, me, I'm, I'm full-figured. Like, I'm, I'm a heavyset woman. But at the same time, I also like to dress comfortably for me. Like, where we live, it's hot. When it comes She's to my a, dress... She's a attention seeker. She li likes attention. She dresses like that because she wants attention from the people. No, Your Honor, I don't dress like that because you. I want attention. I dress like that because at one point in time, I was very heavyset. I was real huge. And now that I don't slim down, like, I feel like that gives other women that is my size the confidence that they need to, you know, to dress how they want to. So you're out there inspiring the people. Yes, ma'am. And when she dresses like that, her whole attitude changes and everything. That's why I know she's just seeking attention. Okay. No, it's... Well, despite all of the trust issues, control and anger, 
you're, deep down inside, you're saying you're both an inspiration to your communities. It's beautiful. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs>